Hello, Virgo. We are going to do your eclipse season reading. These are general readings. So um, feel free to check your other placements if they don't resonate. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, cross watchers welcome. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, that information will be in the description box below. You just shoot me a message. My email is down there. I am doing a, um, a free personal reading giveaway every week. I'll do one a week. All I need you to do is like, share, subscribe, and then comment hashtag free reading. Um, what else? I think that's it guys. I think I'm going to give a big shout out to, um, Gina over at virtuous Virgo tarot. Um, because she's been giving me shout outs. So I'm going to give her a shout out. Um, Gina and I are friends and I absolutely adore her. Also a shout out to Barb over at Quartz Rose Tarot. Her and I do a collaboration video every week, spilling the tea that comes out on her channel. So check that out. We have a lot of fun. And I think Gina is actually on there this week. So there'll be three of us reading all 12 signs. What else? What else? What else? I'm doing $10 off personal readings right now. If you want to book one, um, you just shoot me an email. So you'll get, um, that's typically for first time clients, but I'm just going to extend that through the weekend for everybody. So that's what we've got going on. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a couple of Oracle cards for you. This eclipse season is all about tying up loose ends from the past. It's chaotic energy, things that catch up with you that you thought maybe you had taken care of or that you ignored because you hoped would go away. This is the time that they pop up so that you can forge a clear path forward in the future, right? Just getting all those loose ends handled. All right. Here we go. Nothing popped out, so we'll go in after it. The first one we have release. Yeah. Letting go of the past of, of things or people or situations that hurt you um, so that you can move forward. Finding forgiveness. And then we have beginnings. Yeah. Releasing what doesn't serve you so that you can have a new beginning. That's, that's exactly what eclipse season is about. Okay. So I do feel like um, there's a, a few of you, this won't resonate for everybody, remember, but there's a few of you out there that um, have been trying to, you know, attain something, a goal, a uh, a milestone or have had your eye on a job or a relationship or a situation or whatever it is. And it's just like, you can't quite get there. The universe is telling you, please, please, please release things, release people, um, release wrongdoings, release, you know, just stagnant energy, forgive yourself and forgive that other person. We've got the queen of wands. All right. This is, uh, you know, the queen of wands is, is a fire sign. Um, Aries Leo Sag. She's also very um, alluring and very uh, charming. And she goes after what she wants and she gets it. I see it. I want it. It's mine. That's the king and queen of wands both. So this could be another person you're dealing with. This could be you. Let's get more cards and find out. All right. The three of cups. The eight of cups. The nine of wands, this could be, you know, for some of you, this is going to be um, a person that a relationship, a person, male, female, doesn't matter that you um, have tried going back to multiple times. You always end up walking away. And now you're just like, I don't even know what to do. Well, I think this is probably the time to release that. If this person or this relationship is meant to be yours, it will be right now. It looks like it's costing you too much energy. Um, you know, I see you walking away. Right. And then looking back, still feeling battered and bruised and kind of broken, um, wondering, you know, feeling guilty. Could I have made this work? Should I have done something different? Sounds like it's time to just forgive that person, forgive yourself and move forward. And again, if this is a relationship that's meant for you, it will be yours and it will come back around. OK, right now, the universe wants you looking forward to new beginnings, new beginnings. Yeah. Going forward. Look at that. Just riding out of town and finding you're happy, right? Feeling light because you've released things that um, aren't working out and aren't in your highest good. Yeah. Look at that. See, here's the thing. Fives are about change and we have um, your happiness and change right here. I mean, I can see it. And this is you finally just grabbing a hold and moving forward. Um, moving forward. 
I feel like this is an uncomfortable area for you because, you know, this may be a person who's been in your life for a while or a relationship that's been in your life for a while. This can be love, family, friends, whatever. Take it as it resonates for you. And you went round and round, but you're finally moving forward. You're like, I'm going to have to let go. I'm going to have to, you know, just move past this. And that's a good thing. Yeah. So this, this may be family. This may be, you know, but guys, this is this six of cups. You're mo- you need to move past this relationship. It's always going to be there. If you know, if you love this person and you care about this person, that's fine. You can always love and care about this person. You have to do what's in your highest interest. What's in your, what's in your, your highest good. When you do, when you make, do things that are right for you and make decisions that are right for you by proxy, you're doing what's right for everyone else. You can still love and care for this person and forgive them and move forward. And if you're meant to revisit or come back around, you will. Queen of Pentacles, here you are. So I feel like you really are grabbing a hold of that forward motion and 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 just be going with it because you know you've got this. This person is still going to be in your energy. I feel like, but and here you are, right here, Virgo. Yeah, you're you're finally going to move forward. You're finally going to just walk that path and be like, this is what I need to do. I need to release things and move forward. And that energy is here for you. Okay, say what you need to say. But the, mo- the, the most important part I feel like for you is about forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving others and moving forward. And that's a hard place to get to you. We, um, we always think that we've forgiven that other person until we come back around and are trying to figure forgive ourselves. And then we immediately go to that person. Like, I just wish I never would have met them, or I wish I had this or that. When you truly are in a place of forgiveness, um, you're just like, you know, I've learned a lesson. I'm going to move forward. What will be, will be. And again, if this relationship is yours and belongs to you, nothing will take it away. And you can still love this person or care about this person. You just don't have to do it with them around all the time. You may even, um, this could even be a situation where you didn't have a lot of closure or, you know, if they kind of just failed and never, you know, didn't say anything to you and didn't communicate with you or, or you, you know, what, whatever the situation is, I just feel like there's loose ends. There's, there was almost like a, you know, like this person just didn't even say anything. They just were gone or they just did this or did that a little bit sneaky. I don't, I'm not seeing anything, you know, vindictive or, or anything horrible like that. Yeah. They just, this person may have won another direction and um, you're left wondering why you're still standing here. They may have not talked to you about it. They may have just kind of been gone one day or pulled back their support or their energy and just move forward. You may not ever know why you may not ever get a reason. You may, you just, you just may not, but you have the energy to release this um, to no longer let it make you feel broken or less than right? You have there, there's energy here for forgiveness and for release and for you to start over and move forward. And I think you should take it easier said than done. Right? Yeah. Look at that. Just cutting ties, making a clean break, you know, speaking your truth, even if, even if they don't ever hear it, you know, just sending that email or that message or, or leaving that voicemail or whatever saying, I just want you to know that I wish nothing but the best for you. I'm moving on. I hope, you know, I wish you good luck. I think you're not going to get a lot of closure from this person. Yeah. They're not going to, they're, they're kind of, um, they've kind of went dark. And again, this could be a love relationship. It could be a family. It could be a friend. Take it as it resonates for you, but they're, they're not talking. They kind of have just, they're just gone. And you left, got left wondering what in the heck happened. Yeah. So here's, here's your chance to rebuild, to kind of reforge, right? Um, and like I said, money looks good. I feel like if this was, is business or, or whatever, um, you have the opportunity to kind of go forward and continue and, and, and make it on your own, take that leap of faith, right? Because once you release this kind of stagnant, heavy energy, you've got some really beautiful new beginnings coming towards you. And, and I love that for you. I really do. And I think with this hermit card showing up right next to you, this is you right here, um, on this kind of cornerstone of this, of this reading. I think that, um, you're going to find 
that you've got a lot of happiness coming in. And I love that for you. All right, Virgo, this is what I have. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag free tarot if you want to be entered to win a free personal reading. I'm going to pick one winner a week. Also, if you want to book a personal reading, I've got $10 off right now. My email is in the description box below, and I'm sending you tons of love and light. Until next time.